Hey Tinkerers, this is my next project. I'm gonna try getting this mower running. It's a Snapper SR1433. It's got a 14 horse uh, Kohler motor on it. I bought it non-running. Uh, one of the reasons I got it is because it has a bagging system with it. And in the fall I want to be able to use it to pick up leaves. So I don't, I think the mower itself is probably fine. This motor, I, I don't have any idea uh, if it's going to run or not, um, it's it's not attached firmly to the to the machine for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. I'm going to try to get it running, and you know, just for fun. I don't know if I'll end up using this motor or not, but we'll see what happens. The motor on this is mainly locked up. It does. I put a pulled the string back out, and it it will pull a little bit, but it only goes so far, and then it goes back again. So. Um, I know you can spray a PB blaster into the cylinder to loosen it up, but I think what I want to do really is I want to make sure there's nothing inside the cylinder first. And uh, there could be mice in there or something like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, take this apart and look inside and see, make sure there's nothing in there and I also wanted to see how bad the cylinder was scored so I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and see what we find. Look at this. I checked the oil. I think the oil was, was low or empty if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if there's anything on the dipstick or not. There's just barely a little tiny bit on the dipstick there. That's about it. So I'll put some more oil in there of whatever kind I have. Alright, get some, put some parts in here. I did hook a starter up to, or a, a battery pack up to this, and it did try to. It tried to jump, but of course, since the engine is frozen, it makes like one tick, and then that's it. So let's see. I'm gonna have to use a wrench to get to a couple of these. ground screw and a, a, a big heat sink on here so that I can take off, I probably can take off this connector. I can't see. Let me see. I'll show it to you guys. There's a connector back here. It's a little bit hard to see. Really dizzy by now, aren't you? I had to get the gas tank out of the way too, so I could get back here. And there's a, a screw back here, and there's a couple screws caps on here. So 
a lot of rust and crud on this mower. I know you can that you can spray PB Blaster, take out the spark plug and spray PB Blaster right into the cylinder. I want to take a look first though and see how badly scored it is and see if there's any junk in there. So here's the cover. i take that guy off. As you can see, it's look it's very, very oily. There's a lot of it's been sitting outside too, so there's some water in there. Which you would I guess you'd expect to see. That is really, really grimy and dirty. No mice, which is good. Stir looks pretty good on it. Uh, I didn't check it for spark yet. I'm gonna assume that it makes spark. Although the wires, that, that coil wire doesn't look very good. The jacket being gone on it. But we'll find out here pretty quick. All right, I got a little further on here. I got the muffler off. That looks like just two bolts welding on the bracket holding it on. And there's a couple screws holding this piece of tin on here, so I got that off. So I think, let's see, I got all these bolts off, so this might, this thing might come off. Oh, the, oh, there's one, I guess there's one bolt here we can pop it back off. Let's see what we got here. That looks like it. Like a 10 mil. I'm gonna take a guess. Extremely oily. I guess we can find out what's under here now. Any bolts left? I don't think so. Let's see if we can persuade this a little bit. There we go. This might be our valves. I haven't had one of these apart before, so I don't couldn't even tell you for sure. Yep, there's the valves. And there is a push rod missing in here. So I'm going to take a guess that someone has been in here before messing around. Hmm, that's gonna make it a lot harder to put back together if I don't have a push rod. Huh. Alright. It certainly is not going to run. We know that much too. Alright. For now I'm gonna put the cover back on to keep this clean. Cleaned inside at least a little bit. So that's the engine is pretty dirty. I'm gonna do a little bit of clean up here. I'm gonna turn you guys off and clean up the, the oil that's on the outside of the engine here. You can see everything's really, really dirty inside there. So I wanna be able to take that bolt off there and a couple of these bolts off. Um, but I'm gonna have to clean all this grease out of the way first in order to do that. It's the popo. Alright, so I have three, I found three head bolts on here. I don't know if there's more than that or not. Um, I'm gonna tap this with a hammer, see if that, see if I got all of them, see if it comes loose.
There might have been one under the valve cover. Uh, it didn't look. So if I have to, I might have to take, if I do, if there is, then I'll have to take that one off. So I'll take this back off again and we'll look under there real quick. Two head bolts in there, so I will have to take those out to get the head off, which kind of makes sense. I didn't really want to get this dirty inside if I could help it, but I think that's kind of not important at this point. I think this engine is probably tostado, but we will find out here shortly. news we got going on here. soon here. in there. I see some rust in there, which wouldn't, which we can probably clean up with some PB blaster. Uh, I still don't see that rod. There should be another rod in there. I know I called it a connecting rod. I don't think that's what it's called. It's called something else. And for some reason that's not in there. I'll do a little bit of digging. Maybe there's pieces of it in there. That's, but I should have two of these and I only have one. So I'm going to say that 
somebody might have been working in here trying to take stuff apart. We'll take a look in here real quick and see if we can if we can see anything. I don't know how good your view is if you can see see inside there or not. So this is the rod I have. And there should be another one, which I don't have. a few things. It's possible that it broke and went inside the engine. I don't know the logistics of how that could happen, but I don't see a uh, I don't see a, a lifter in there. So if you in, on this side, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a lifter in there that I can push on, and I can feel it in there. On this side. There's no lifter. The lifter fell, fell out or fell backward into the engine. And if that fell backwards into the engine, I'm thinking the, the connecting rod might be laying back there too. So that might be the reason, part of the reason why this engine's not, not any good anymore. Um, but I wanted to find out what was going on with this. And I'm kind of glad I took that apart because that tells me a lot. So I know that this, I know that putting spraying PV blaster in, in here wasn't going to get it started again, even though there's just a little bit of rust in here. This would clean up really easily, and I probably could, could maybe make this turn, but you can see it doesn't want to turn. Um, and I think there's pieces laying back in the engine, so now I'm going to have to decide if I want to try to mess with this engine or see if I can get a different one so I think we're gonna be done for now I think I'm gonna see I'm gonna talk to my buddy and see if see if he can't get me an, an engine and then I would have a different engine to put on here uh, and this one would become parts become part of the parts pile it has a starter on it and it has a coil on it so these parts might be useful in another mower somewhere down the line so, anyway, I'm going to call it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.